Hey guys, today we're going to be installing a set of Raptor lights. We opted for the Factor 4s that come together as a kit instead of doing four independent lights into the grill. These, uh, these plug in actually above the grill and just below the hood. These are really, really nice quality. It looks like OEM factory parts. They've uh, epoxied the lights in on the back. The harnesses are look really, really nice. It comes with a, uh, its own harness that plugs into the lights. And it also has a fuse tap to go into your fuse panel on your battery and on the ground. It also comes with a installation tool for the clips. And these guys are out of Colorado, so it's a USA made part, which is kind of nice. They give a card with their QR code for the instructions on it. Okay, so you can remove this top if you would like to. The cover, we've got a different video for that. These are the plugs that we're going to remove to put our Raptor lights in. Here's the Factor 4 lights. So there are three clips and one screw. Just start pushing the clips down and then pushing the plug forward. Once all three clips are released, grab your Phillips screwdriver. This is the screw behind here that is on the outside corner that you've got to remove. So just be careful once you get it unscrewed to just keep that in place. You don't want to drop it and you really don't want to pull it out. Um, it'll stay in place. Just be careful with it. Okay, now that we've got the screw released, we can pull it out. There's where that screw goes in. So we're ready to install the Raptor light. Okay, now we've got this pushed in place and it's clipped in. We're gonna go on the back side and install our screw. Now we'll just repeat the process on the other side and then we'll move on to wiring. Now that we have both of the Factor 4 lights installed, we can connect them to our harness. And then we will wrap the Harness over to our fuse panel. Okay. Now that we've got our wire just loosely routed, uh, we're going to go ahead and take off the fuse panel lid. <clears throat> and what we're going to be pulling out is this fuse right here, the 7.5. Believe is the, the USB 2 hole, and this will be for accessory on lights or accessory on power. 
can use a little puller here. Pull that. And with a fuse tap, you want to go ahead and install it down on this bottom one. Like so. And then this. Install right there. Now I'm not going to do it in this video just for time's sake, but I am going to notch this area here so our wire slides down in there and doesn't get pinched and allows the box to close completely. I'll show that afterwards and later. Okay, so. Put your fuse puller back in there for later. These are spares, just in case they come with the car. And we're going to take, I think this is called a spade. This is gonna to go to our battery negative. are. Plug in our harness to each light. All right, so we ran into our first snag. We went to try to plug it in, and it did not work. Um, so we tested the fuse on that. This does not get power; it's just a dummy. So we'll try this one. We should have shown a problem there. I think we've got some footage of me earlier. Pitfalls part of the installs. Okay, let's see if that fixed it. And it did. That looks pretty cool. Alright, so it worked. I uh, just had to right, find the right fuse. Um, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share. We'll have more videos. Uh, we'll probably roll in some footage of this uh, at night. And, um, all right, guys, thanks.